Tattooing is not just, like you're not just tattooing, like you're talking to the client, you're listening to their problems. It's almost like therapeutic for them. Sometimes I feel like, you know, when people are down and depressed, tattooing cope with this reality, you know, and the pain and what they're getting kind of makes them feel like they're getting something real. My name is Robert Fo. I'm a tattoo artist. Been tattooing for 30 years now. I learned in prison by tattooing on myself, made with um, you know just the basic tools in prison, using Walkman motors, um, guitar string as a needle, homemade ink. You dip the ink, just run it on your skin, dealing with the pain and see how figuring out like how deep you needed to go. I did my left arm, my right arm, my legs, all by myself. It's up to the artist uh, to be better at what we do, but the only way to really learn from it is, um, you know, tattooing from the experience. When I got out, I heard about laser tattoo removal. Laser removal is very painful and it's very expensive, but I mean, just the thought that you can have a second chance again on your skin, it was just, I mean, no question for me. I didn't care how much. I don't care how painful it was, I just wanted to go through it. You know? Because like I've always wanted nice work on me. I, mean, I wasn't really happy with the stuff I did on myself, you know. So I just started removing it. And then started collecting better tattoos from like other artists, you know. We have a shop called Skin Design Tattoo, started in North Carolina. Now we have one in Vegas, one in Hawaii, one in Orange County here, and one in New York. I have a daughter that's 17 years old. She's apprenticing with me now. And I have another daughter, 12 years old, and she's also going to start. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like they're going to be the ones who kind of take over for me. You know? <laughs>